So it's 5.30 in the morning and I've been up for about 45 minutes and uh, my destination, which is Olsztynik, is about eight or nine kilometers from here. So this is where I spent the night and these places are not a good place to spend the night as general, in general. Uh, there's somebody behind me, he had the radio on, he sort of turned up when I was already in bed. So I, once my uh, premiere is finished, so I start that at quarter past uh, nine local time, so I'll be finished around 9.35, something like that, and I'll then go to bed. And somebody came in and had a radio on and um, it was loud enough for me to distinctly make out what they were saying. And me thinking, well, the radios, that's nothing compared to the noise of the traffic. Well, the traffic, you expect it. I mean, you've got the... Uh, that's part of the the journey. Now, compared to the places, other places I spent the night on this trip, two other places, uh, they were far better. For, uh, uh, but the thing was this, I didn't know at that time of night when I arrived here, or the evening, because it wasn't all legal or that late, if I would, would find somewhere I want close to be to where I want to be and uh, Poland is not so good for finding places to park in a van uh, there's far fewer parking spaces in my opinion than in other countries and more I think about it when I'm traveling around Italy or, or Germany or even Netherlands Belgium even the UK um, I always find somewhere to park here it is quite difficult, even in the UK where parking restrictions are quite ha um, difficult. Uh, it was fine, it seemed to find somewhere, but here you just don't know. I was passing through a couple of little villages yesterday and I thought, oh, this looks lovely, I'd like to stay. And uh, I just can't find anywhere to park my van. <coughs> so, uh, anyway, see the skylarks are out saw the video I did last night and you've seen the um, this parking space right so you can see that there are not so many uh, vehicles it's not as full as as on the roads leading to Germany so this is the um, main road between Warsaw and Gdansk it's not a dual carriageway all the way only uh, part of the way. Although, well, last time I was here, this was being constructed. You can see down there that uh, one of the features you've got these longer vehicles, such as my own, which are taking up several car parking spaces. Oh, and there's that building there's the toilet, but it seems to be in uh, popular use, so I won't film too close to it. Anyway, it's going to be a lovely day. Temperature now is about 15 degrees. And because of where I'm going, I'm going to visit a thing called the Tannenberg Memorial. It was, it was Germany's answer to the, um, the, the missing soldier. What do we call it? I forgot the word now. The unknown soldier. And so they're buried from the Battle of Tannenberg, uh, unknown soldiers, but it was a huge me memorial was built, looked a bit like Stonehenge or something like that, but, but even bigger. And that was built in the 1920s, and it was destroyed by, uh, partially by, uh, um, on, on, possibly even on Hitler's orders, on, in January uh, 1945 partially destroyed as it was largely the Polish government uh, took over after World War II destroyed it so I know there's next to no, no remains there but anyway that's where I'm going to be heading so I think I'll make a move oh one little thing happened to me yesterday was there's a van parked next to me and uh, the owner I used to know the owner of the company and uh, I thought I was saying something to the driver. I was just going, I could only remember his first name, I couldn't remember his second name. And I thought, oh, I'll look it up on the internet and then I forgot. Um, anyway, good. Well, I haven't seen him for well over 10 years. Well over 10 years. Good. So I'm going to get back in the van and continue on my journey.